Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. This is part of our series we do in cooperation with the New Jersey Education Association. They do a series called Classroom Close-Up on, on the great public television station in New Jersey, uh, NJTV, and we are proud to introduce as part of that series um, Jacqueline McAllister since 1999. She's been a teacher. Right now she's teaching at Fernwood Avenue Middle School right outside, about 10 miles outside of Atlantic City. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. You love being a teacher? I do. I love it more than anything. Well, you do, uh, you do something really interesting down there. You uh, started something called the Invictus Club in August of 2014, which is? It's a club that's aimed at mentoring girls that are in eighth grade, because I'm an eighth grade school teacher. And the idea is to reach out to the kids and create you know, emotional support that they need in addition to their you know, um, educational support. And Invictus um, comes from the um, Ernest Henley poem, the William Ernest Henley poem, Invictus, meaning inconquerable. That's true. That's correct. And that correct. poem means a lot to you, doesn't it? It does because, you know, every teacher goes through the same thing and asks themselves the same questions of, you know, what exactly do I have to offer the kids? And some people are content experts and some people are experts at discipline. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought to myself, the thing that I can offer kids is the notion that we have grit and we are not able to be conquered mm. and we will not be defeated and no matter how life treats you, you can always keep going and find a way to succeed. And these young women who are how old? 14, 13, 14. And they need help. They do. And you are there for them and the club is called the Invictus Club and this is a powerful video from Classroom Close Up. Take a look. Your structure has to be six inches tall. It has to support the ping pong ball, okay? That's gonna be your goal, somehow. This is achievable, you can do this. The name of the club is the Invictus Club, and I used that title for the club because I love the poem. The poem is called Invictus, and that is a Latin word that means unconquerable. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I'm the master of my fate, I'm the captain of my soul. You are in charge because you are the master of your own fate and you are the captain of your soul. So when something awful is going on in your life, you think, what do I have to rely on? I have me. I am Invictus. The words of the poem speak to some people and I know it spoke to me because I have thought to myself many times, I am unconquerable. Just like the kids I work with, I am not able to be defeated. Today we're gonna focus on something that's a little bit different. It's sort of like a compilation of all character qualities pushed into one. So I'm gonna do an exercise with you, but I, I'm gonna have two kids go to the board. You are going to slowly drive yourselves across the country. Start your car trip, stop, put an X. Hit a four land up. Everything Amy had with her got stolen. Just keep driving. You just keep driving. Yeah, you're right. Okay, just on your way. Stop, your passenger ditched you. Your heart is broken. What do you do? You just keep driving. You found out that your dog died. That's right, you keep on driving. Now you have to start again. What do you do? Do you go? Yeah. Of course you go. What did you notice that every single kid said all along the journey? They kept going, they kept saying, I don't know, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna teach you a word today that you might not know. It's a very important word and I'm gonna teach it to you because you all have it. Not everybody has it, but you have it. How do you pronounce this? Grit. 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 You have a lot of grit. You display that to me every day because part of your journeys are extraordinarily difficult. Here I have like more opportunities and for that I needed, I needed to speak English and I need to We have to find ways to reach every kid, not some of the kids. We have to reach every single kid because they can all learn and they can all be productive. So I think to myself, what can we as educators do to reach every kid? I don't really know, but I'm not willing to not try to figure it out. It doesn't take anything other than a group of kids and they will lead the way. Those are beautiful kids. I love them. Why? They represent every student I've ever taught. The ones who meet with success, the ones who don't. 
And the thing that we can all learn from them is that even the kids with the most difficult lives have a lot to offer this world. Sometimes it takes more to uncover it. And I, I, I believe with all of my being that every single child is worth working with and paying attention to, no matter how they fight back, no matter if they say they don't want to, every kid has potential. And I think this is just one small example of the things that go on in our public schools. And I, I work with so many people that make every human possible effort to get to the kids. And this is just one more way to get to them and help them. You saw that video from Classroom Close Up for the first time. That's right. That is the first time I've seen it. And it's beautiful. And, and it, it encourages me because I want everyone mm. to see the strength that these kids have. What are they facing? Describe. Broken for... homes, foster care, evictions from homes. Um, a lot of the kids told, tell stories about coming to our country as, as recently as a year ago, two years ago, not speaking English, learning to speak English, struggling. It's, it, the, their stories are heart-wrenching and hard to tell. We, we are fortunate. I mean, I, I grew up in a, in a fortunate home full of love, and I have children of my own, and I see how hard it is to get them ready for school every day. And I, and I watch these kids come off the bus, and I think to myself, how, how do they even keep showing up? They don't have the things that my children might have or the things I had. But I believe very strongly in, in equity for all of our children, not just equality. And, and I believe that School is not only about learning things from the books. I think it's about learning things from each other. They teach me more than I could ever teach them. We have to always remember the human side of teaching. And you know, I, I understand that data and metrics are important, and I read them just like everybody else does. But I also I, I think that it's very important that we remember that they're children, and they need love, and they need to know that we care about them. And I, I don't ever want that to get lost in my teaching. Were you meant to teach? I tried a lot of different careers, and this is the one that matters. This is the only one that matters. And, and you know, I, I worked in the corporate world for a while, and I'm pretty sure they never knew that I was there. <laughs> My first day of teaching in Trenton, I did not know what I was doing. I had no idea, and I struggled through my first day. And at the end of that day, I had probably about five little kids gathered around me, begging me to come back tomorrow. And I thought at that exact moment, this is what matters. It mattered. And, and I think that what all teachers are doing matters. Classroom to classroom, teacher to teacher, the, the emotional bridges that we build between ourselves and the children, if we treat them like they're our own, they will succeed. Teachers are clearly leaders. What's the greatest lesson you learned about leadership? That it's not dependent on one single person. That Leadership can be displayed in many, many different ways. And I think that um, when we give children the chance to lead and when we give children the chance to speak, then they will become leaders in the future. And I think that that's important because, you know, the only success in life is not what you got on your science test or, you know, what, what essay you wrote. Success in life is about grit and determination and finding a way. So I think it's important to teach that to children so that they understand that there is no failure. They all can succeed. Thank you for doing what you do, and uh, you're a great leader, a great Thank teacher, you. and obviously a terrific person. Keep doing I appreciate what you're doing. That. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Same here. Thank you. We'll be right back. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence, and 13 for WNET. NJTV, and WHYY. Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, PSE&G, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, NJM, New Jersey Sharing Network, and by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.